Severe weather can really knock out power any time of the year, and after Hurricane Barrel, many of us are considering a generator in our emergency plans. And on today's Hurricane Gear Test, meteorologist John Dawson reminding us all that there is a lot to consider before making that purchase. A generator can be a huge help when there's a long-term power outage, but the most important thing to consider is can you operate it safely? And on today's Hurricane Gear Test, we're going to talk about a specific generator, but we're also going to review some things to consider before purchasing. This is the Champion Tri-Fuel Inverter. I've become a big fan of the inverter generators lately. They are quieter and more fuel efficient than traditional generators. Now this one also has electric start and carbon monoxide monitoring. Now most portable generators operate with gasoline, but this one can run on natural gas and propane as well. The type of fuel that you choose does change the power produced. So if you are using natural gas, you'll get 5,875 running watts. If you select propane, you'll have 6,525 running watts and gasoline produces the most power. That's going to give you 7,250 watts. All of these fuels will produce carbon monoxide. So remember, never use a generator indoors or in an enclosed space. Keep it at least 20 feet from your house. Don't try to plug it directly into your breaker box and make sure the generator and the attached cords don't get overloaded. Gasoline must be stored in proper containers in a safe area. And remember, carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless gas. If you feel sick or dizzy, get some fresh air and purchase detectors for your home. The listed weight is 165 pounds. This is the largest inverter style generator that I've seen. It's also one of the few that I've seen with an open frame, and I think those are probably the reasons why it was louder than I was expecting. It's the first time I've ever run a generator on propane, and I got to tell you, it was really nice not having to mess around with gasoline. You'll find 120 as well as 240 volt receptacles on the front. There are plenty of spaces here to plug in whatever you you need to power. I'll pretty much recommend any inverter generator nowadays, so I'm giving the Champion Tri Fuel a cat four out of five on my Hurricane Kit priority scale. These are going to cost more than traditional generators. I found this one online for around $1,400. How do you power your appliances when the electricity goes out? Tell me in a comment on my YouTube channel. Just search for meteorologist John Dawson.